Stable Diffusion 3 is here and I'm going to show you how to run it. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Do you have a tent in your pants because of the Stable Diffusion 3 announcement? Well today I'm going to show you how to get your greasy little fingers on it. But before we do that, I'm going to show you some comparisons between Midjourney SXL and Stable Diffusion 3. Let's get started. So here we are in Midjourney because I want to show you that all of these are first roles. Now here we have something for the ability of imagination. So the prompt is just sci-fi movie scene and these are the images that Midjourney is creating. And as you can see, they are very cinematic and beautiful. As you can see, we are in ComfyUI because ComfyUI always gets the fun stuff first. And up here, I have my note for Stable Diffusion 3 and then Save Image. And below here, I have my setup for Real Vis version 4, the same resolution as above. And here we will see our SXL result. Stable Diffusion 3, very nice, very good work from the colors from the composition the guy standing here on the side a little bit awkward from the composition but otherwise actually a really good image and below that we have here our real whiz SDXL model also very nice result here interesting composition but it has this kind of classic art style that you expect from stable diffusion community trained models so and one of the promises for stable diffusion 3 was that this is closer to the aesthetic and artfulness of mid journey and I can really see that here so here we have the second scene that has been generated by stable diffusion 3 again I would say this comes pretty close to the aesthetic of mid mid journey. The colors are very nice and recognize here that we have only two colors. We have orange and red tones here and then we have blue tones. So this two color rule is really very nicely followed here and I feel like the interaction between these two characters is also very nice. So this is kind of a scene where you want to see what's happening next. And this is the result from SDXL. Now that is very similar to what we have seen before. Let's go to the next image here. This is one of my favorites. It's a wolf sitting in a sunset and it's very beautiful. Very nice result. Very artful created by Midjourney. Midjourney is really good at these artful compositions. Now here the result of Stable Diffusion 3 is pretty nice even though the neck is way too long. The composition is a little bit awkward but because we have a 16 by 9 format stable fusion might have a little bit of a problem with this wider format here we have the sdxl version of that actually pretty good very nice wolves created here this is more photographic this might be down to the model being more of a photo model but the result is nice the colors are nice composition is nice here we have a second render of that prompt with stable diffusion 3 it's a pretty nice composition even though the character is too much in the center here we have a dark character on a bright right background we have a nice highlight at the edges here to point out the edges and also show the hair of the character so that's pretty nice the sun is in the background even though the sun here is not completely round and this again is the result by sdxl the real vis model pretty cool again very nice wolves let's go here to the next images and this is actually with text so here we have a tiger that is supposed to be in a pixel style in this case it didn't really pick up on that it is supposed to say I love you so much so that actually worked really well in this image wow so this is the result from stable diffusion 3 I think that is a great result. It looks a lot more like a Pixar character, even though, as far as I know, it's not trained on Pixar images. They try to keep their model cleaner now, remove artistic references and artist life, artist style references. But still, you can see here a beautiful result. The text is completely correct, even with the words on top of each other. So that is actually a very nice, very surprising result. Here we have the result from SDXL. Now SDXL is known for not being that great with text and the tiger is pretty beautiful. The style of the tiger, the design of the tiger, everything here is very nice. The way he looks, the smile he has on his face is good. Here we have a poodle that is on a fashion shoot and it really looks very good. I just want to point out that in this case we even have a much longer prompt. So this reads, in front view portrait of a poodle wearing 1960s mid-century 
century space age fashion backdrop is a deep neutral blue setting a dark contrast that accentuates the subject fluorescent color well actually you should put a color here shade wearing a very fashionable lounge coat and sunglasses are a hip 1960s style clothing all in one color here we have the result from sdxl and oh boy is that result good from the composition from the color from the style from these two different lights i really love the idea here that we have a pink highlight here on the side of the hair very nice and then contrasted with blue on the right side really works very beautiful and here we have the result from the real vis sdxl model again i would say it is very beautiful beautiful really nice and detailed in this case actually i like the hair better now you have to decide for yourself which of these you find more artful and expressive but as a studio photography goes i have to say both of them are very very beautiful here's a second result and oh man i love this so much it looks so cool very photogenic very nice very beautiful again as you can see here if you look close the hair is the fur is not specifically nice and detailed also up here is kind of fuses into each other but other than that it is just a very very nice image creation now let's have a look down at sdxl and wow this is also very good i love this kind of silky material from the dog jacket i love the reflection in the glasses the attitude of the dog and this cool vintage decor with the chair with this kind of circle behind that very very nice i have to say like both of them are really really good now let's do something that might be a little bit more challenging for both of these models here we have character emotional expressions of these cartoonish cats let's zoom in here a little bit you can see that they look very beautiful this is mid journey of course the prompt here is clip art cartoon cat wearing glasses with a series of expressions happy curious angry sad tired embarrassed cute and there we have the result from stable diffusion 3 first roll a lot of errors in the face uh, the expressions of the face are pretty nice they have variety in them we actually get six different characters that look pretty similar to each other so it's good and not good at the same time and here we have the stxl result from that we have seven very beautiful cats here but none of them have any face expression which is really surprising so let's give this another shot here we have the second roll again the expressiveness of the faces is really nice i guess that stable diffusion 3 here needs some more information in the prompt a little bit more details of what we want to create here but overall i feel like the result is very nice there's a lot of similarity between the characters and the expression for example here this kind of angry face down there is very nice here also a little bit of annoyed face i would say that is very very nice and for the second image for sdxl i actually switched over to juggernaut but we're getting the same result there is no emotions even though the cats look very beautiful now let's do something that's a bit more complex again here the mid journey results girls with big guns now that looks amazing love the design of the character of the gun of the composition everything here is just really nice in this case the prompt is color anime cute pigtails girl with guns a large automatic gun in a bond pose there we have our first result from stable diffusion there we have our first result from stable diffusion 3 now this i'm not happy with to be honest uh it's almost there but the hand is going to the wrong side we might get a better result in the second row here we have the result from juggernaut model and really actually pretty nice it has this classic stable diffusion style for the community trained models but from the colors and from the character actually good even though the hands didn't 100 percent work out in this case i adjusted the prompt now it says color anime drawing of a cute pigtails girl with automatic rifle a large automatic gun in a dynamic pose in a war zone highly detailed masterpiece for both of the models now this is the result we get from stable diffusion 3 and i feel like it's just not picking up on the highly detailed anime style so maybe anime is just not the right thing for this model 
And here we have our result from SDXL Chuggernaut. Now here again, we don't really have an anime style, but the image is very detailed. The pose is very nice. We actually have the war zone in the background. So this is actually not too bad as a result. Let's try another prompt here. This is a result that I really enjoy in mid journey. These close ups here, beautiful color. I like this kind of glitter effect on the face. If you're curious, the prompt is raw photo of a beautiful French woman style girl with gold eyes wearing sparkly pop Kira Kira rabbit rings, quirky cartoon art style, line drawing, intense colors, pop style lines, rich details, doll core, right pink and right white. Here we have the result from Stable Diffusion 3. I would say that the result is pretty beautiful. Very nice face details. The hands here a little bit deformed in all kinds of ways, but overall the colors and the composition is very nice. And this is the result from Juggernaut SDXL, which is a pretty beautiful result, even though this went more for the photographic style. Here we have a second roll with Stable Diffusion 3. Again, I would say the result is pretty beautiful. And here we have another result from Juggernaut SDXL. Again, very beautiful result. Let's also try the famous prompt from the announcement of Stable Diffusion 3 with the wizard on the hill and the text above. Now, here here we have the result that I'm getting from Stable Diffusion 3 and actually it is really working. We have the text here. The text is well, almost correct. There's a little bit of an error here, but you can always re-roll the threes in here. We have the magic, we have the wizard, we have the mountain. So all of that really actually works. Here we have the result of SDXL Juggernaut, which is really beautiful, but it doesn't have the text in there at all. And here we have the results from Mid Journey. Now, if you look closely down here, it says stable fusion. You can't really read it, but down in the corner, we have some text here. The image itself is very beautiful but it is lacking the wizard spell casting and also the text okay so let's have a look at how to actually install this so you can run it now first of all what this does is it's using the stability api and that means you need to have an account with stability you go to the website you make an account and then you can have here an api created so when you go to your profile on the left side here it says api keys just click here and create api key and as you can see it will create that key for you now when you first sign up to the website you get 23 free credits this is not for 23 images you can actually go here to the pricing page you can see in the generate list for stable diffusion 3 it costs 6.5 credits per image and then for the stable diffusion 3 turbo model it costs four credits per image and if you look a little bit lower we have here sdxl1 which costs way less than that 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 that is much much less than you would pay for stable diffusion 3. You also have to go to the billing page to buy your credits. Now, the minimum amount of credits you can buy is 1000 and it costs you $10 to do so. If you're in Europe, you're also going to pay 20% VAT or tax on that on top of it, so $12. Now for the installation, it is actually pretty straightforward, but when you first come to the GitHub page, you will realize that a lot of the information here is actually in Chinese. So the way to fix this is right click and then simply select translate to English. After this is done, you can read the text completely in English and it is very easy to do. You need to copy this here, git clone and then the address of the GitHub project. You have to go, you have to go to your ComfyUI folder in there to the custom notes folder. Open that up, click in the address bar and type CMD and hit enter. When you have the command window open, simply copy in the git clone and the web address and hit enter. So this is downloading the project folder for you. After this has been done, you want to go into that folder, which is called ComfyUI Stable Diffusion 3 API. And in there, you're going to find a config JSON file. In here, you find this text and this is where your API key goes. Now there, you have to keep the quotation mark. So only replace the text in here. That's very important. Then save the file and restart ComfyUI. 
Inside of ConfUI, there is actually only one node that you need. It is called Stable Diffusion 3. You have an image input, you have an image output. Now, this is intended to be rendered also with image to image rendering. This is why you have the denoise down here. As far as I know, for now, the image to image rendering doesn't really work. To add this node, you want to double click on the background. This gives you this search bar. And here, simply type Stable Diffusion. This is going to show you the Stable Diffusion 3 node. Click on that and this is going to be added for you and then simply you connect this to a safe image node now inside of the node the settings are as easy as they can be you have your positive prompt you have your negative prompt you have your aspect ratio you have the mode text to image or image to image you have your model which is sd3 or sd3 turbo you have the seed you have your control after generated which means you have your seed setting which you can set to randomized fixed increment or decrement just as usual and then you have the strength which you Usually you want to keep at one and only if you want to go for image to image, this would go to a lower value than that to take the image into account. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Stable Diffusion 3 model. It's leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.